Good morning and welcome to Sky News. My name is Clem. And my name is Lucy. Today we'll be presenting a very important issue which is impacting the world today, ocean plastic pollution. Indeed, it is confessed that 8 million tonnes of plastic end up in the ocean each year, otherwise 913 tonnes per hour, which is an extremely shocking fact. The problem is that many people around the world do not realise how dangerous this is becoming, not only for our marine wildlife, but for ourselves as well. Most certainly, as we say, what goes around comes around, as supposed to mean that the plastic which marine animals mistake for food and eat might end up on your plates. Very true. And did you know that we have recently found cigarette ends and many other plastic objects inside of a dead whale's gut? Absurd as it may seem, cigarettes can leach toxic chemicals into the water, causing severe inflammation of the animal's digestive system and occasionally even death. The terrible situation of these poor animals is highly increasing its consequences and we have to put an end to this from now. A recent study says the marine creatures may be swallowing hundreds of tiny bits of plastic each day. Microplastic pollution has the potential to further reduce the large filter feeders. Later on, we will be speaking to a Member of Parliament live on the streets of London, as well as the owner of Ohu and the owner of Save Our Seas. But for now, we hand it over to Lucienne Garance, who are live from the south of India. Thank you, Lucy and Clem. Good morning, my name is Lucy. And my name is Garance, and we're here reporting live from southwest India, where we have a serious problem. Do you know how much waste is in the ocean? Last year, a study estimated that around 8 million metric tons of rubbish had entered the sea. This will take centuries to break down. And in remote waters of Antarctica, they have found evidence of plastic killing and harming seabirds and other marine life. 40% of Europe's plastic is only used once and then thrown away. Plastic bottles, coffee cups, food packaging and straws. There is an estimated 5 trillion pieces of plastic in the world's oceans with 8 million tons of plastic ending up in the ocean every year. People have been thinking up different ideas to help tackle this issue. One solution is to organise cool trips where children can volunteer and help clean the environment. This will also help raise awareness among the younger generations. Other ideas are centred around the amount of carbon dioxide and bad toxins we put into the air. This can come in the form of smoking a cigarette or driving a diesel car. There are different ways you can make a difference at home. Be an ocean hero and reduce, reuse and refuse plastic. Continue watching for more on this story as we have now hand you over to Natalia, reporting live from London South Bank. Thank you, Garance. Hi, I'm Natalia and today I'll be interviewing members of the public to find out if people are aware of the issues caused by plastic in sea. Today I have with me the MP, Emma Brown, and our former Mayor of London, Boris Johnson. Oh no, I don't care, I'll probably be living on Mars when there's too much plastic. I think we should invent plastic that changes state when we heat it up. Hi! Oh, could you join the interview too please? Sure! So, what are your habits in terms of plastic? To be honest, I don't really think about it much. Well, did you know that in 2050 there could be more plastic than fish in the oceans? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. And you, miss, what do you do at home with plastic? I use the same bag when I go shopping and I recycle as much as I can because I want the best world possible for us and the next generation. Both of you, what solutions can you suggest? To, to, to this problem? Well, perhaps humans could make a plastic edible. I've heard a company has made um, a plastic bag out of cornstarch and vegetable waste, and it can dissolve in water within 15 seconds. So maybe it could be eaten by marine wildlife too. What about you? I think that's a great idea. I mean, I've heard and seen about the problem about plastic pollution around the world. And I think it's becoming a critical problem because you can see where it's all piled up in our beaches and oceans. Thank you. The UK's river carry plastic from across the country out into the seas around us. Every year, British households throw 22 million tonnes of waste into the bin. EU targets demand that we recycle half of that by 2020, but rates are stagnating at just 44%. The government has announced that it plans to eliminate all avoidable plastic waste within 25 years. But what solutions are they going to give? To know more about these solutions, let's go to our experts. Thank you, 
you, Nikita. I'm Constance, and today we have the exclusive visits of two special people. This is Mr. Bride, the founder of OHU, and Mr. Martignoli, co-founder of the anti-plastic project SOS, which stands for Save Our Seas. So, Mr. Bride, what is OHU? Well, OHU is an alternative to plastic bottles. It is 100% made of plants and seaweed, which makes it biodegradable in four to six weeks. It's just like a piece of fruit. Um, OHO can be coloured and flavoured, but most importantly, um, it's cheaper than plastic and stays fresh for a few days. Thank you. And Mr Martignoli, what are Save Our Seas solutions to plastic pollution? Well, our company is building special dams, bubbles, which take the, uh, the waste and plastic to the surface of the water, which makes it much easier for rubbish collection. Thank you. And back to Mr Bride, what led you to create OHU? Well, I was genuinely shocked by the number of plastic bottles ending up in our oceans every year. So, I tried to find a solution. My goal was to create waste-free alternatives to plastic bottles from reaching the ocean. Thank you. And would Save Our Seas propose any easy solutions which people can apply daily to help reduce plastic pollution? Well, we thought about taxing uh, plastic bottles, cups, uh, cutlery, plates, because people just unnecessarily consume them and they don't realise how much, which obviously leads to pollution. Uh, you can easily use a metallic bottle, which you can reuse hundreds and hundreds of times. But our simple advice is to reduce, reuse, recycle. Thank you, Mr Martignoli. Unfortunately, this is all the time we have. We will now show you some posters regarding the theme of Ocean Hero. 